Okay, here's a short video on telephone dials. Basically, uh, what they sound like, since this seems to be a driving factor in their uh, popularity. And then what you're going to pay for them. Uh, basically, it has twos, fours, fives, and the later ones are sixes. And that's getting into the real newer stuff. And as the numbers go on, they get quieter. Funny enough, they wanted to get away from the noisy dials. And today, that's what everybody looks for. Uh, the classic, uh, they like to use this term, clickety-clack. Anyway, we'll start with the two dial. Usually the two is used in candlesticks or early desk phones. Um, they have letter designations, 2AB, 2BH, usually the 2As, the candlesticks, for separate receiver and transmitter, and something like a 2HB uh, was original equipment in these desk phones. There's the E1 handset and a B1 base, and there's the, if you can see it, but there's the 2HB on the... Uh, outside mounted finger stop and you should not have a notch in the uh, porcelain dial plate because you don't need it. This is supposedly serviced but it's obviously has never been touched and you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear that beautiful click clack but you should also hear how raspy it is and clearly needs to be lubricated. Okay, that's in I want to say that's probably an as-is dial. Probably nobody ever touched it, or if they did, it was 50 years ago. The dial's almost 100 years old. Um, the fives aren't... Oh, I'm going to show you a... Pause one second here. Now, we're going to take a look at a fully serviced uh, four dial. The fours and the twos, basically the same mechanism. And let's see. Yeah, that's lubricated. Clean, lubricated. And fu functioning perfectly and that's what everybody wants that sound yeah. this is a five dial that if you ask me has never been touched although it supposedly was yeah. well maybe it was it's hard to tell i think this guy was a butcher that did this one but th they have a bit of a sound too i have one on the table here this is a five you can listen to this one it's nowhere near as pronounced as the twos and the fours. And this one is a six. These are really quiet. Really, really quiet. But they have their own, you know, each one has its own characteristic, its own feel, and its own sound. And they all have their own qualities. This one is uh, smooth as silk. I, I really haven't even touched it. And it's just really, if I will, I'll take it apart and clean it, but it's never been touched. Uh, for that matter, I don't know if this one has or not, but it's awfully smooth. It sounds like it has. Usually when you lubricate them, they get a little quieter. A little bit of, a little bit of grease in there. So that's basically the difference between these dials. The, uh, uh, the letter designations that we were talking about on this have to do with uh, the wiring, like I says, a 2A would be for a candlestick, a 2, uh, something like a 2H would be for, and then the B and all of that stuff, it's got to do with the dial plate. If it's uh, like this one, the quote-unquote metropolitan with the letters and numbers, or if it's the rural with just the numbers, all that stuff. And down here we have another. This one is a 5, and this one is all cleaned and lubricated. Okay, smooth as silk. And it has has a bit of a sound to it. It's not that quiet. Just not as pronounced as this one. And that raspy in this one. When you put, yeah, I think that's a lack of lubrication. This needs a good lubricant. Needs to be cleaned and lubed. Anyway, that's a nice little video on on basically how these dials are and. But they, then you got the real modern ones, you got the plastic ones. Hold on one second. Right, this is the real late ones. I'm not even sure what this is. This is either uh, a 6 or a 7. Yeah, it's probably a 7. With the plastic. And uh, that's a real quiet one.
Okay, that's it.